let's quickly talk about handling redirects in route handlers. Imagine you've built a user's API that's been running for a while. Your v1 endpoint has basic user information like ID, email, full name, and created at. After a few months, you've built a more comprehensive v2 endpoint that includes structured names, user preferences, and profile data. To move clients to this new endpoint, we can set up a redirect in v1. So in v1 rod.ts, import redirect from next slash navigation, and within the get handler function, call redirect, passing in the new path, slash API, slash v2, slash users. In the browser, when clients hit slash API, slash v1, they'll receive a 307 temporary redirect to slash API slash v2 slash users. This works smoothly because all v1 fields are preserved in v2, new fields are purely additive, existing clients can keep using the same fields they've always used, and new clients can take advantage of the enhanced data structure. It also gives us a chance to clean up any loose ends in v1 before fully switching over. All right, up next, we will look at caching in route handlers. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.